So you're thinking about moving to Grapevine, Texas? Well, in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to the city known as Grapevine, Texas. We're going to go to some neighborhoods. I'm going to show you some different price points. One that I know will fit your budget. And that adventure starts now. If this is your first time to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you'll be the first to know of any and all changes to the market here in North Texas. We get calls and emails every day from people like you needing help moving to North Texas. And you know what? We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, you know what to do. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or bid you up. Let's set up a Zoom call so we can help make your transition to North Texas a smooth one. Okay, I am actually in Grapevine, Texas today, and I am at their downtown. This is Main Street, and when it comes to Main Streets, Grapevine definitely has it down. Um, you know, some cities, they have good Main Streets, some have no Main Streets, but Grapevine really has a great Main Street. Anytime Monday through Sunday, seven days a week, you're going to find people down here either going to the restaurants, going to the shops, coffee shops, wineries, or just any of the restaurants that are up and down Main Street. <laughs> I got people saying hi. <laughs> there is the Grapevine Festival that happens every September. And they close Main Street down. There are amusement rides, vendors, all kinds of stuff. So Grapevine, again, really knows how to up the entertainment, especially when it comes to their downtown area. So we're going to check out some of the shops, restaurants, and then I'll meet you at the first location. So we're at house number one. This guy is 420. It is a three bedroom, three bath, two car garage. It was built in 1986 and it's about 1460 square feet. Um, it's right here behind me. As you can see, there are trees. Um, yes, there are no leaves. It is winter time, believe it or not, even though the sun is shining and I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt. It is winter still here in Texas and the trees have not bloomed yet um anyways so this is actually in the meadows edition now there is no hoa here um which again i know we have a love-hate relationship with hoas um <laughs> and that's okay the one thing that makes grapevine well several things but one thing that really makes grapevine popular one is location it is kind of smack dab in the middle of both Fort Worth and, and Dallas. So if you're working at either location, you can just 
jump onto the highway real quick and get there in a matter of minutes. It is minutes, minutes, minutes away from the, um, from the airport. I mean, the airport is actually in their backyard. And uh, the school systems here are top notch. They're actually in the Grapevine Colleyville school systems. And people who want to be in either Grapevine Colleyville or Southlake um, want to be here for that. So let's take a look at the neighborhood and um, I'll meet you at the next one. Hey y'all, okay, so we are in the second neighborhood. And this one is um, $550,000. It is a four bedroom, three bath, two car garage. It's just a smidge under 2,600 square feet. And it was built in 1985. So there it is right behind me. Um, great neighborhood. There is no HOA, but it looks like there's an HOA. A lot of the houses here in the neighborhood um, they're taken really, really good care of. This neighborhood, you're going to see larger homes. So probably 2,500 square feet or higher um, around here. A little bit bigger lots. It is the older part of Grapevine. But yet again, you can easily just jump on to one of the main streets. Get to the highway. Get where you need to go. So we're going to take a look at the neighborhood. You're going to see what I mean by no HOA, but it looks like one. And um, I'll see you at the next location. This is the last neighborhood. This particular house is 725,000. It is a four bedroom, four bath, two car garage. It's 2450 square feet and it was built in 1951. So this particular area, Grapevine, you're gonna find older homes, so late 40s, early 50s, um, but a lot of them have been updated and renovated, and this one for sure has. So as you can see, we're going to walk right there. There's the house. 
this one in particular actually has a garage in the back and i'm going to show you that here in a second but again this area is considered more of the historical area of grapevine it is within walking distance of main street it is mere minutes from dfw airport and in mere minutes from grapevine lake and uh, where you know if you're a lake person you definitely want to be closer to the lake so I don't know if you can see that right there but there is the garage so there is no HOA in this neighborhood but for the most part you're gonna see a lot of the houses have been uh, renovated painted things like that now there is the good the bad and the ugly in this neighborhood unfortunately because there are some of the homes that really haven't been touched in a very very long time but for the most part uh, a lot of people like to be in this particular area of Grapevine just because super kind of cool it being a 1950s house and yet updated and renovated. So we're going to do a quick tour of the neighborhood. And in the meantime, if you have questions about the market or Grapevine, you know how to get a hold of me. But until next time, guys, I'll see you around the neighborhood.